Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. I'm reviewing today my first toy love, and that is Acid Rain World again. This is the AMM Prospector. Uh, AMM Prospector. This has been out for a while. Uh, I've got seven of these. They were st all stuck in Singapore, but now one has come through to me here in China. So it's a little bit late because many people have these already, but I shall be reviewing it for you nonetheless. Okay, so first thing, front, the artwork is very nice. Kit does all the artwork for the front. That's Kit Loud, the designer of the toy range. We have some sort of flying ship, drop ship maybe, and two AMM prospectors. Let's hope that ship gets released sometime in the distant future. Uh, side, just a barcode, the AMM logo, Acid Rain. Other side is the name, the logo. Uh, the back, just as the normal information. And it tells you this is made by Ori Toy. Okay, so let's get this open, have a look. Now I've seen some good things about these in Facebook and online. So I am really looking forward to this. Plus it's the first female trooper, or female figure even, that we have in Acid Rain World. So the Ori, the Ori Toy style crate with the handles which Laurels can grip and you can stack these uh, together. So here we have her, her assault rifle and two pistols. The two pistols are the same as the five pistols that Jack has. And here we have our trooper here. Uh, nothing underneath the foam on either side. Okay. So let's get her out not taped on the bottom okay let's have a look at her first of all uh this is a really nice sculpt very very nice uh even with the armor or the belts on other stuff it has got that feminine look to the figure where it goes from the hips slightly in to the waist and slightly up out again as it comes up towards the breast and shoulder area uh, really, really, really nice looking. So you have a look at that there. She looks good. The gas mask face looks great. Double holsters on the legs we can see here. The color scheme is great. I like the AMM color scheme. We turn to the back. There's a backpack which says AMM and it's attached to the vest already. Normally you have to attach the the backpacks yourself which takes a bit of doing this does come off I don't want to take it off just yet um, and the vest will come off too the shoulder joints seem new I'm trying to find the uh, vest attachment maybe it was on the back as well but normally and this will come off as well the vest come off it might just be a stretch fit um, and the belt on the waist yeah that moves that'll come off as well the ones on the legs are a pity part of the mold i think you can take them off if you pop the legs out so have a quick look on that hmm yeah it does appear i can take them out but it looks like they might be glued on so I will keep them on for now. Okay, so helmet comes off. And we have this new head sculpt here, which is really cool. Uh, this could pass for male, but it's wearing a gas mask, but which is quite nice for interchangeability with other acid rain figures. So that's really, really quite nice. Uh, and it's what's nice is rather than like the Forsetti and the Laurel Pilots, Rather than having a smaller head, so you have to have a smaller helmet. The helmet, the head's quite a normal size, and the helmet is just a, maybe a tad bigger than the other ones, so it fits over. So that's quite nice, rather than getting the smaller head. Okay, um, in fact, I will take the backpack off. Backpack is just a peg that goes into the hole, and the backpack is very nice. Doesn't open just for aesthetics, but it looks good. The vest, where is the? Okay, I think it's there, maybe.
I cannot seem to find. I oh, move this side. Okay, the my vest here appears to be uh, glued together. I don't want to cut it. There is a gap I can see underneath the left arm. There's a line that comes down. I'm not sure you can see that on the camera. And that doesn't appear on the other side. On the other side, it's one piece. This is where the vest comes apart. Okay, yeah, there it does. There we go. So it comes apart. And you can take the vest off if you want by taking the head off, which I will do. Okay, this is a normal design for acid rain neck pieces. Okay, let's get the... Uh, Vest off. Let's have a look. I will leave the belt on and the uh, leg holsters. Let's put the head back on. Okay, so she looks really good. Uh, proportions are quite nice. Not too heavy in the shoulders. Not too heavy in the in the breast area. So it's a well-proportioned, athletic-looking figure, which is good. Okay, so let's look at her articulation. In fact, let's look at her, her accessories first, then we'll come back to articulation. Let's look how she holds the guns well. Now, we've seen all these guns before, so there's nothing new here. Just the rifle uh, has got the a AMM color scheme, which we've seen in the AMM Trooper, which was an exclusive. So well done to you if you have one. But they've really sellotaped this quite stiffly. I don't want to rip the bag, but I might have to. Okay. Ori toy, next time don't close the bag so tightly. Okay, there we go. Okay, yep, so really nice assault rifle and what i love about the acid rain ones you can see they actually drilled the barrel on the pistols the barrel is tiny but it is still drilled which is really really nice okay let's see how she holds the uh gun the stock should hopefully not be too long to fit naturally her hands are yeah they're rubbery the type i like so you don't feel scared about breaking the fingers uh the stock is maybe a little long for her arms she can't tuck it in which is a shame uh, but she can hold it nicely like this and they can hold well yeah let's get this in and let's put her guns in her holsters The guns are quite secure in the holsters, which is nice. So I have very little fear of losing them if I drop this while the guns are in. Okay, so she holds the gun quite well, the assault rifle, but her arms appear to be a bit shorter than maybe the male one. So if she puts the stock into her arm or shoulder, then it becomes more difficult for her to hold nicely. She can still do it, but it's not as easy you see that the hand keeps popping out as i try and get that in so the stock was maybe a little bit shorter on this it would work slightly better in fact i'm going to make a hold the uh, ammo clip not the barrel so she can hold it slightly easier with the stock in her shoulder like that Okay, so easy to hold the gun to the stock is a tad long for her little or uh, slightly shorter arms. The pistols will be easy. I just hold the one, won't do both. And that does look pretty cool as well. She can hold the pistol very well as well.
she is a really really good looking figure they've done really, really well on the uh, aesthetics okay let's come down to the important part let's look at articulation I'll keep the helmet I'll leave the helmet on no, I'll need to keep the helmet off and the vest off so we get a more fuller range so we'll go from the head up so down she can look down not a much up pretty good obviously very good left and right side the side she can go downside upside okay it's there but there's not a huge amount of range shoulders now I'm interested in these these look new because these are on a different system than previously but so upwards uh, the mold will get in the way and going up so she doesn't get great on the upwards there okay but because there's a ball she can do this slightly which is quite nice okay uh, let's look at the elbows ladies and gentlemen she has got over 90 degrees on the elbows that's really quite impressive normally figures struggle to get 90 she gets over 90 degrees so this one is probably bent slightly more than this one and that's maybe sorry they'll go past the 90 degree angle not over 90 past the 90 degree angle so yes i've got muscles okay so she's maybe at there at what maybe 85 degrees which is anything over 90 is pretty damn good on this scale so that's pretty good uh, waist, we know she gets a turn and she gets a dip forward, not huge, a dip back and a little side to side. There is no turn on the hip waist. Okay, I will take the guns out for the next part because they will hinder the flexibility. Let's look at how she does the splits. So going outwards. She doesn't score particularly well because again the new design on the hips does get in the way forwards fantastic and, and backwards is actually some of the best you'll see on a 118 figure because this time there is no impediment to the actual figure that's really quite impressive so it makes up for the lack of sideways by having the backwards uh, double knee joint it's ratcheted and she gets a very very tight bend which is great uh the feet are also on a ratchet uh sorry the thighs have a swivel as well so the feet go down really quite far and they go up okay as well and they do have let's have a look And legs straight first. They do have a neutral position. So unlike the Amangas, she gets a nice neutral position even though they're on ratchets as well. And the feet also go side to side as well as twisting. So that's pretty damn impressive on that. In fact, I like this. I would like a little bit more articulation on these sides there, but this is more than made up for by the, the amount of backwards articulation she gets on the legs going backwards there, because most figures don't get so much that. Okay, let's have a quick comparison. So shoulders, she's not going to win any awards. So shoulders, she'll get not even 90 if i i've got a few figures here i'm going to compare and we'll see so let's take another one first of all so here we have black widow this is one of the best black widows in 118 and she gets much better range of motion on the shoulders going upwards okay elbow bend black widow doesn't even get 90 degrees whereas we know that our AMM gets over 90 degrees. So that one is a victory for AMM. Head 
yeah, AMM's got far more motion there. Okay, let's look at a Boss Fight Studios as well. So, shoulders. I'm looking at Vandar here. He gets slightly over 90, so he's not as good as Black Widow. He's slightly better than the AMM. Elbow bend. He gets... Oh, his head's popping out. Elbow bend. He gets... Uh, just about 90. So better than Black Widow, not as good as the AMM. Okay, head motion. His head keeps popping off. Okay, so he gets um, pretty good motion because of his neck joint. So I can pop that in tightly. That I'll have to do for now, it's not in though. Uh, so he gets pretty good motion side to side well much better than black widow because she's got pretty much hardly anything um but surprisingly not as good as the amm so the amm is better side to side and she's better than him forwards and backwards so the amm is winning on two counts now okay waist this one may well be the boss fight black widow's got nothing so she loses have a look from the side. Now he has got his arm on, but that's not getting more in. Um, ooh, I'm going to call that one even on the side backwards. He wins on backwards just a bit. Okay, uh, turn, they've all got turns. Okay, legs. We know that he's probably going to win the legs because he can do a full split pretty much there. Okay, uh, Black Widow can go out. Uh, she'll be in second place. Then last place on the outwards will be the AMM Trooper. But then she is going to definitely win going forwards and backwards. So if I get Black Widow's legs back in place, yeah, she, you know, forwards, not great. Backwards, Almost non-existent. The Boss Fight Studio forwards is not quite 90 degrees. Backwards has to go out at an angle. It cannot go straight. So AMM is a clear winner on the forwards and backwards. Getting into a nice split there. Okay, let's look at the feet. So Black Widow's feet. She has... Freakishly flexibility going backwards. That's just uh, freaky there. Uh, Boss Fight Studios is good, but he can't compare to Black Widow. And the AMM is the same, but I'll give it to the AMM because the AMM doesn't look deformed as Black Widow looks like she snapped her ankle joints. Okay, upwards. Let's have a look here. Make sure these his uh, little tassels and his legs don't don't impinge his movement. He gets a little bit, not not a lot. He'll get this type of lean. Okay, Black Widow. She gets great flexibility. Look at that. She's doing a real Michael Jackson there. Woohoo! Okay, let's look at our AMM. I think Black Widow might win this one. Yeah, so we have Black Widow, then the AMM, and then the Boss Fight Studios. Okay, now let's look at side to side. There is uh, none really on the Black Widow. There's none on the Boss Fight. AMM wins that. So overall, out of these three, the AMM does have better articulation. Okay, let's put these two. This is a really cool figure, by the way. Really good face on this one as well. Uh, I'll review this at another time. Uh, let's put these figures to the side. Okay, now, something which is maybe a bit more interesting to some of you is if I uh, compare this to maybe some other figures. Now, as you know, recently I reviewed some Joy Toy figures and something struck me about them is they're quite compatible with Acid Rain World 
And I know the reason why, because I looked at them in more detail, they've copied the articulation system from acid rain figures. Uh, I like the joy toy stuff, but come on, don't rip off other people's work. Uh, so, uh, the only difference in the joy toy really is that they got the toe joint here. So come back to our nice AMM figure here. This figure is really, really nice. Let's get it in some action poses if we can. Since she has this nice forwards and backwards action, uh, articulation. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, I like that. I was pretty good for a second there. Okay, also I forgot to say the wrist articulation is this way on both the hands, not this way on, on any of them. Okay, I mean, look at this pose here. That is a pretty damn fantastic pose, and she'll balance that quite easily. She'll struggle to get that range of motion in another 118. She could even go lower than that as well, if need be. I ask you, what other 118 can do this? That is really quite impressive for an action pose there. And you can see her legs are almost at 180 degrees there. So that's really a uber piece of flexibility for a 118 scale figure. So that is really, really good. I am really, really liking this figure. You get some great poses in this. Um, you can take it apart by pulling. You can pop out the hips. You can, uh, the arms are, shoulders are different, so I don't want to pull those out. Arms normally can pull out, but I'm not going to do that unless I heat it first. Head is easy to change, and the body on the Omangas can pull off. On this one, I don't want to pull too hard because I'm not sure. I'd have to heat it up first again as well. Okay, let's put her stuff back on so she looks complete again. Let's take the uh, head off first. This, I think now, has become my favourite uh, regular release Acid Rain figure. And I say that because I have all the exclusives, minus one, which I don't need because they've released it as a normal release anyway. Uh, this is really quite nice. Very, very nice. In fact, this is going to be one of my top 118 scale figures. In fact, there's one thing I didn't compare it to as well. Let me compare it quickly to a War of Order uh, toy by Devil Toys. This one hasn't got his head. Um, okay, so um, shoulders, he gets more. Arms, she definitely gets more. His shoulders have a big joint like this too, so he gets extra points there. Head and neck, she will definitely win. Legs outwards, yeah, he will win that. Forwards and backwards, he is not bad, but she will win that. Uh, knee bend, he, she will win because she has less of the mould in the way. Waist, she will win again. Feet, she will definitely win. So, uh, overall, out of the figures we looked at, she is the winner. Now, I will look at a Joy Toy as well, since they have copied uh, Acid Rain generally. So... We'll keep him with his helmet on for now. He is uh, about the same with his helmet on, her helmet off. Arms. Yeah. With his vest on, in with his vest off actually, he won't get great articulation, especially on this arm. I'll call that maybe even because her arm goes higher this side but less on that side. Head. She wins. Waist, I know she wins. Legs, she cannot compete. That way, he cannot compete. Uh, feet, so he's doing knees first. Knees, she wins. 
uh, feet articulation she will win but these are the other side and these do have toe articulation which the AMM doesn't so uh, despite these guys being pretty damn good in terms of articulation because they copied acid rain I'm sorry Joy Toy you copied acid rain um, they still cannot beat the new AMM prospector from acid rain from Ori Toy apart from maybe the shoulders and outwards on the legs so this is a really 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 nice figure I do like this a lot now with new figures as you guys know your collectors you should heat up first I didn't heat mine up I just got out of the box as you saw and started playing uh, Oritoy do have fantastic customer service it has to be said and there's no problems with this one okay so I'll pop the AMM backpack back into her uh, back section let's get that in that is easy to go in if you guys have the Marines you know that they can be a bit of a struggle to put back and take off the backpacks the vest has a little clip which you should clip first before you put the backpack in but I'm doing it the way around and that's quite easy too in fact they've made it a lot easier this time let's put her helmet on she looks good Put the pistols in the holsters and then i'm going to do one more comparison with her against black widow because black widow has pistols in her holsters too and then we'll call it a day on this uh review this is quite a long one 26 minutes because i did so far or at nearly 27 minutes because i did a comparison with other figures too okay so Let's just get her standing upright, get the gun to the side so you can see clearly. So a bit of an unnatural position there, but never mind about that for now. In fact, put it a bit closer so you can see her. Uh, and here's Black Widow's got her holsters in. So you can see they're about the same height. The uh, boss fight studio is... Uh, he's a little bit taller. The War of Order, missing his head, would be a little bit taller. And the Joy Toy is about the same, a bit shorter if I take the helmet off. So this is the AMM Prospector Acid Rain Weld uh, from Oritoy 118 scale. This is my, yeah, I think this and the Space Prisoner Stroke Space Scientists are probably my favourite general release they've had so far. This is really, really nice. Okay, this is Awesome Acid Toys signing out saying please like share and subscribe and i'll be back soon with more awesome action toy videos for you stay happy and keep collecting okay bye bye